DB4 Studio allows designing databases by working with a live database or with a database project. A database project is a physical or virtual folder in which database objects and table data are represented as SQL files. This folder can be committed into or updated from the version control repository similar to any other files. You can create this folder manually or use new database project wizard. For this, on the file menu, point to New and then click Project. In the wizard, specify a location for the project folder and select Import Schema Objects from the existing database. On the next wizard page, select a database. For convenient work with the project, also select Create a physical folder on the disk for each object type. Now we can create the project. As you see, the project objects are structured. Now we can add our project to version control system. For this, right-click the project folder, point to Tortoise SVN and click Add. Now we can commit the files. For this, right-click the project folder, select SVN commit and enter a comment. As a result, the database project is in version control. Let's make changes to the database we develop. For example, let's increase the length of the varchar data type in the Sakila City table. For this, open the table for editing and apply the changes. Now let's open Schema Compare and compare the database with changes with the database projects from version control. For this, open Schema Compare Wizard and configure source and target so the database was source and database project was target. As you see, Schema Compare has detected our changes. We can either save the immigration script to a file or apply the changes against the database project. For this, we need to open the synchronization wizard and select Synchronize Project. As you see, all files of the database and the database project have been synchronized. To make sure of it, open the city table from the project. Now we can commit our changes. Right click the project folder, click SVN Commit, enter a comment, and commit the changes. Our project is up to date now. In a similar way, if another developer makes changes to the project, you can fetch these changes with the help of the SVN update command. Then return to Schema Compare, click Edit Comparison Settings, change the comparison direction to make the database a target, and click Compare. As you see, the Schema Compare tool has detected the addition of a new column, and now we can deploy the changes to the database. For this, we need to open the Synchronization Wizard, select Execute the script directly against the target database, and click Synchronize. Then expand the table node in Database Explorer and open the film table for editing. As you see, the new column is already in the database. In this video, we described how to use the database project and schema compare features of DBForge for database development. Thank you very much for watching.